So I was just 13, 14 years old. There's already so much going on. You're finishing up middle school, you're about to enter high school, you're starting to date, you're finding your own friend groups, you're getting your own sense of style, you're going through puberty, you're going through all of these big life changes. And then I went blind. I'm Molly Burke. I'm a YouTuber and motivational speaker, and I happen to be blind. From the time I was a little girl, I dreamed of working in Hollywood. I wanted to be an actress and a model and a singer. And it was absolutely my dream job. And I gave up on that dream after going blind. I didn't see myself represented in Hollywood, so I didn't think I was ever going to have an opportunity to make it. When I went blind, I lost all of my friends. I was very badly bullied. I was really depressed. And I turned to the lifestyle, beauty, fashion girls on YouTube because they felt like my friends. When I was depressed, when I felt like I was alone, I had these girls talking about makeup and fashion and all these things that I loved, but didn't have anybody to talk about in real life with. They somehow meant so much to me when I needed it. It, it felt like I found these people who understood me and and so that's why I started my channel and build that environment for other people. I was by no means an overnight success. I posted one to two videos a week for two years before I had even 5,000 followers. But the numbers didn't really matter to me. I was just posting because I really enjoyed it. I also felt like it was important for the world to see me as more than the bully broken girl. If I wanted to sit down and talk about mental health, I could. But if I wanted to just sit down and talk about makeup or dating, I could also do that. I was doing exactly what I set out to do. I was being the role model that I had needed. And so hearing these people say that they don't know anybody else who's blind and they've always felt so alone. But by seeing my videos, they realize there are people out there like them. Comments like that were really special to me. So much discrimination that disabled people face is because the world simply sees us as disabled. And if all I'm talking about is the fact that I'm disabled, I'm not really proving how normal we really are as people. And that's why I'm so passionate about making videos about fashion, even though some people might not view that as being as important as when I talk about blindness. I think it's equally as important in a different way. If I could tell other content creators one thing, it's that you need to create for you. If you stay rooted in creating the content that you actually believe in, that you actually love, that inspires you, other people will love it and feel inspired by it too. And those are the people you have to create for.